Hey folks, this video is going to be a little bit different. I recently took a cruise in the Caribbean and the hike of Mount La Amiga was offered as an excursion. So let's do it. When we left the boat, we were shuttled through a bunch of small towns and up a bumpy road to the trailhead and the base of a dormant volcano. Here we met our lead guide and we were given some basic instructions. They offered us bottled water and each of us was given a walking slash hiking stick. Actually, it was just a stick. Then we were off to the crater rim. Starting at 700 feet, going up to 2,800 feet. Probably the most interesting aspect of this hike is that it takes place in a totally different environment than I'm used to. This lush rainforest contains so many different trees and plants, and amazingly, it wasn't buggy at all. Only important information you passed over that. These are not fern, these are masks, club masks. This hike is approximately six miles in length. It takes about two hours up. We spent 15 minutes on the crater rim, and then it was an hour and 55 minutes to descend. This is a moderately strenuous hike, and the guide service only offers it for ages 10 and up. A couple of kids completed the hike, but I don't think they particularly enjoyed it. This trail is rough, it's rocky, it's very rooty, and it can be slippery in some places. So before we reached the summit, we stopped and the guide handed out some napkins and he said, don't wipe your face with this. And we all stood there holding our napkins and then he came around and he put a small piece of raisin bread in all of our napkins. And then he gave us a small like Dixie cup and he put some juice in it and we drank our, took our shot of uh, juice and ate our little piece of bread. And although it was good, it was a little disappointing because the, the brochure had said we were going to get a picnic lunch at the summit which this didn't really count as. The crater rim was our objective, so we were halfway done at this point. There are two crater views and a partially obstructed view towards the sea and another island out in the distance. These overlooks were nice, but very crowded. At the time, I didn't realize that these were all the views we were getting, and I was disappointed when we started making our descent. If I were going to hike this trail unguided, I don't think it would be that difficult to follow. Uh, there are some red blazes, but I think all the trails kind of wind into one and they all go to the same place. Tree mutton because they're living in the trees. I eat monkeys. But monkeys are vegetarian. Monkeys don't eat none of the I had a pet monkey for 11 years. He was named Thomas and he bit me. You know what I did with him? Mm. At the end of the hike, we got our picnic lunch, which was uh, on the tailgate of a truck. They had some bread and some strange meat and lettuce and tomato with mayonnaise, and we made our own sandwiches, and, uh, and that was it. Uh, the, the bus driver sold Carib beer for $2 a bottle, and um, then we left. So what did I think of this hike? I think this was a unique hike that offered a rare experience, uh, one that I won't have anywhere else. Um, and for that, I think it was definitely worthwhile, even though the views into the crater were not quite what I expected. Well, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and I will talk to you guys later.